Greg Rowe is the driver for Flat Rock, and it appears chief ribbon cutter as well. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what are you doing with these ribbons, Greg? Uh, they're for the four tops that go in the horses. Is there a uh, rhyme or reason to how the horses' manes are braided or done up? I've seen a few different configurations. Uh, they're all kind of pretty much the same. Uh, some people have a little bit different twist than the other one, but uh, in the end, they, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> what does Flat Rock do that's a little special? Uh, to the mains? <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, sometimes we're just happy if they stay in, right? <laughs> Do you have the um, little things that stand up on the mains? Yeah, the rosettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the tails, too? Oh, yeah. Yep. Put in the uh, tail bows. <laughs> Do all of the horses get braided exactly the same? Uh, yeah, pretty much. There's uh, two, of them, two of us that roll mains, so uh, we might have a little bit of difference in the way we roll, but it looks about the same when we're done. And Flat Rock is all Percherons? Yeah, Percheron Geldings. Tell us a little bit about your team. Uh, well, I guess uh, we've had most of them for quite a while. The front four we've had for five years now. Uh, lead team and the swing team and uh, the wheel team, they're fairly new. We just started using them last winter. Um, one of them we raised. Uh, so they're, they're a pretty uh, dependable bunch. Greg, what is some of the training that you do at home to prepare the Percherons for a show like this? Well, I guess at home mostly my brother drives them because I'm gone working, but uh, mostly just in teams, four to five days a week they get drove. Uh, just uh, that seems to get them hard enough. Is there any type of cross training that's done for driving horses? Uh, no, we don't really do any cross training, I guess, but uh, you know, in the spring we start them off just on a sled walking, and then uh, about June we start trotting them on the wagon and getting them more in shape to, to run. Are any of the horses on your team ridden under saddle? Uh, none of these. Um, I imagine in the past maybe a couple of them have been, but uh, we don't really do that with ours. <laughs> How did you become a driver? Uh, well, we just, uh, when I was younger, we started doing it. Um, Dad had a few, and uh, I don't know, we started going to a county fair, and before long it kind of grew, and now it's mostly bigger shows. How has your showing been so far at the Big E? Oh, we've had a pretty good show this year, and... Uh, done really well here in the past so hopefully it'll keep going that way. <laughs> Do you show in all of the classes from single up to a six a six horse team? Yeah yeah we hit all the classes and you know unless something conflicts where we can't get them both done at the same time you know between the two classes but yeah we hook them all. Where do you hail from? Uh, we're from Bellevue, Ohio. Well that's a really long trip to the Big E. Uh, yeah it was about 12 hours. What is the span of your uh, traveling for competition? Uh, well, last week when we was uh, in Oklahoma, and I guess the furthest we go that way is Denver. Uh, we went there last January, so it's, uh, yeah, that's 22, 24 hours. Do you stay on the road continuously for shows, or do you stop over at home in Ohio? No, the most we ever have is a couple of shows that line up where we can go from one to the next, but uh, usually it's one show and home and back out to the next one. Do you have a favorite horse on your team, and if so, why? Uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite. I guess the most famous one we got is Cody, the left lead horse. Can you show us Cody? Can we take a trip to Cody's stall? Sure. If I can get John off his director's chair. <laughs> 